some way, shape, or form. I'm catching up with my girl, Consumer Arena, on YouTube. And remember, it's not TV, it's YouTube. It's not YouTube, it's Consumer Arena. Subscribe and share. Peace. What's up, guys? Thanks and welcome back to the channel. My man, Brent. It just so happens to, like, freeze on this part, so. You know, that's just what it was. They keep on running this part back. I think I'm on a new episode. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. <coughs> I bet y'all ain't drinking enough water. Mm. And look who's on the motherfucking screen saying, yo, I'm about to have this talk coming on camera. Warning. Because I found out that we just trust me on this one. Trust me on this one. Trust me on this one. All right. This is gonna... And for right now, Chell, she is all over the camera. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. She pretty though. Yeah, she pretty. They say Sam got a type. No, Sam got a problem moving on. So each girl looks a little bit like or a lot like the last one on the mental poor favors. So this is the face that them bitches made um after hearing that Juliet's boyfriend bought 16 pieces of artwork from a girl that he previously hooked up with mm-hmm mm -hmm. hello friends girl 16 pieces girl make your money that's what she said and I'm just like yeah I'll for Sam 16 pieces, she ain't need to sell no more goddamn pieces. Sam bought the shit out. I mean, what is it? What, what she had? 16 pieces, she, she painted 20. Ugh, I cannot. Love that face, uh, JD. Yeah, so it's just her talking about how she made amends with Camilla at her party. I don't understand. It's like you girls, you know, deep underlined, like the pain date in between y'all legs really don't like each other now i see why brandon put that tweet i'd rather you know have real friends and fake we said i'd rather have real enemies and fake friends yeah i can dig it bj wait a minute what is the look that uh uh chloe closest trotman damn chloe you look really pretty damn you look really good yeah girl you looking good i like this i like how the eyebrows look a bit thicker that's a nice enough space from the hair to the, oh, my bad, y'all. I got to stop doing that with the thing. Make the frame go in and out. Um, yeah. Chloe, you look good. I love it. See, I told you you guys are my Barbies. <laughs> Chloe, are you trying to get back in line to be Skipper? You're already in line, Chloe. You, you already know. You only drop one down. Girl, but you better just become that other, other Barbie dog. We got to find who the other Barbie dog girl is. What is she? What is you, mystical Barbie? <gasps> Chloe Coase's Trotman is mystical Barbie. Yes, bitch. Amen. Oh, wait, wait, y'all check this out, though. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. How was your conversation with Julia? I think it was honestly, like, the best conversation we've had in like six months <laughs> uh oh are you gonna become friends with juliet the bitches worry y'all make me sick wait a minute so i think this is really really important um check this out she said that she appreciated me like reaching out so that was all good. It was a good. I opened up about my personal life that much. Yeah. It's not something I need to be telling everybody sure. that I'm not it's, even friends with. It's easy, though, to share. Remember that, Queen? Not even friends with. Mm. Just remember, because y'all quickly forget, then y'all be back in the same damn pit. Wait a minute. The same marsh pit, bitch. Wait a minute. So look at this sneaky ass look. Wait a minute. Tell me what this look was about. Why Why did y'all look at each other like this? Like, I told y'all, they come back this season to start trouble and can cop plan and stir up shit. Wait a minute. Dang, and hopefully they can work through whatever's going on with them. But yeah. what's going on with you? Wait a minute. 
So what what was this about? What was this about? What's this talk about right now? Is it you? So that's what I'm that's all I'm saying. What was this look about? She's looking at her like this. And and Kara's looking back at her like this. What's going on, y'all? Mm. I'm sad. I'm ready to connect. I'll be back. I'm mad. Like in real time on Wednesday, and then it's actually Thursday, and I'm still doing last week's episode, girl. But just like my subscriber said, shout out to that. Um, I don't know his name, but he left a comment. It's on um one of the videos, one of the later videos. He was like, "See, that's the key, four and a half." Yeah. So that's what he was trying to say. Like you know, basically the season that I cover is like four and a half. So oh, I like that. So it's five and a half, y'all. Yeah. It's like I be throwing in a half for y'all, y'all. So, but anyway, isn't it given that y'all cooking up something else? Y'all definitely kind of trouble in drama, but ain't it though? And then look at the music they threw on with that. Wait a minute. You know, I would have just think that y'all done came up on the pack. Wait a minute. Oh. They are talking about um, Mady Face. They throwing a party for her. I guess like a bridal shower party. Pick up my pepper popper, boober pepper. And basically talking about that um, Brandon going to be there. You know, Brandon and Jordana's situation. So I don't know. Ah. Uh, I wonder how BG feel even being around Madison and all that because he was so in love with her. Mm. Wait a minute. So what was the switch, Brandon? Because if y'all look back, go back to my last season. I said it. I said it. I said it. I said he's going to see because he's going to keep messing around and somebody's going to be willing to offer him a deal that he can't refuse. I think it happened. Because I don't remember Brandon having a flu like this. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I thought he started off wanting to do rock. And now he's, he's in the, the hip-hop, the rap. Now, this shit don't sound bad. Isn't it? Hey, Brandon. What you been doing? Brandon. <laughs> Can you hear? Yeah. Yeah, BG. Y'all got to hear that shit, though. That shit rocking for real. I like it. It's all right. It's all right for what they got going on now. That shit laid back. I like that. Some laid back rep. You giving me 2022 Martel Williams, and we need that. You feel me? But you want some young shit. So that's what's up. I'm up sitting here choking off this good granary and shit. And um, I almost was about to pass. Oh my goodness. This is a fine ass lady. No disrespect. This is what you want to aspire to because this is a good looking woman. She's well preserved. Look at her hair. Look at her skin. Look at her. She got a couple rings on too. The man know it too. Her husband know it. He said, look, I got to get you another one this year. Damn. <laughs> he woke up. Uh, five years later, said, "Whoa, look at this goddamn here! Take another one, take another one." Oh, girl, you get all the diamonds, don't you? She fine, she is one. That's why. See, people don't know what real rich is and what real wealth is, and it's in the goddamn health and the spirits is high and it shine through you. I like Brandon's mom. I like her, and she loves her son. Now she look at. Him. She love her baby. I like this woman. See y'all, oh my gosh, she, I love her. Look at that dimple. She got two of them. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, basically, so she's talking about, you know, she be catching up with Brandon. She want to see what's going on with her son. So she always bring a food chair. So she bought him some curry. And she had brought any food last time. So yeah, wait a minute. Uh, is Brandon Trinidadian? I thought he was Mexican. Wait a minute. So Madison's back, and that's good. She looks really good, really good, refreshed. And like I told you, I don't want, I can't comment on this situation because I don't know if, like I'm, I read that she lost the baby on Twitter and stuff. So I'm not, and I don't know, and I'm not sure if she did. Then I just, I think she's very brave to even show all this that she filmed, regardless, because, you know, but I guess. Maybe they had to because it was kind of centered around that. Oh, I don't know, child. That's so hard. <coughs> so I won't be commenting on her. Or ish. Mm -mm. Not till after this is all said and done, child. If ish acts stupid to do something stupid or ignorant, then I'm, I'm, I'm going to say something. Wait a minute. But that's for that. She's sitting down with some lady. I don't know what it's about. Wait a minute. So she's sitting down with the wedding event planner alone. That's what that's about. Okay. It's the wedding event planner. I ain't saying nothing else. Wait a minute. 
because see, here's my thing, right? It's kind of a little bit worrisome and it's very telling. He said that before you, you, that's probably why Shane Marion, um, he said he was going to make more of an effort to be around and stuff. And I don't know what he did or we did, but damn on the narrator, uh, Queen said, you know, she spends a lot of time in LA alone. So, um, I'm just like, girl, so now, you know, you're planning this wedding alone, you're pregnant alone, and it's just going to be that you're going to raise the baby alone. Wait a minute. Do you see why I didn't want to comment on that? Now, you see what I just now said? Now, look, if she didn't, if she lost the baby, then that's like messed up. So I just cannot. So that's it. I cannot. That's the last thing I'm going to say about the situation. I'm last ish. Do something else, like not show up for important shit like this. Wait a minute. So this is where you wore that awful shit, girl. You this are. is terrible. Kevra, why you didn't stop it? You did not have her back. JD, you better check it. Cause she had your lipstick match her dress and that was it. You did this. She let you go and do this while she did that. That looks good. Girl, what is this? Now, you know she country with these damn ties at the top, chill, bye. But girl, you could, and then you could have went up to her and didn't do no ties and just had on the spaghetti silk dress. You got bigger boobs, girl. That's how you gonna know what your friendship is really, mm, Wayne, Jordana, and don't make them eyes blue and go blonde, chill. I think I really gonna have a problem. Wayne, man. I can't believe this, that you really wore it to like a serious thing. Like, oh, girl, ah, wait a minute. Ugh. I mean, I can see if y'all was twinning, but you, Kara, is not going to wear no shit like that. Ugh. All right, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, this pissed me off, y'all, because look at this bullshit. <clears throat> the goddamn ad is in the way. I don't even know if y'all going to be able to see it, because I'll probably pop it out. But the ad is in the way, y'all, and we can't even see the whole pretty-ass cake. This is pretty as shit. So I think it's popcorn. There's some type of toffee popcorn right here, y'all. And then let's look at this. Because look, wait a minute. With my little thing. I wait for my thing. All right, at the bottom, bam. So at this point, it should be up. Yo, so look at that. At the bottom, do you see that right there? That looks like popcorn, don't it? So that's why I'm thinking like it's popcorn at the top. Oh my gosh, it's just so freaking cute. Ow, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love. I love. I love. I love. I Camilla, not the one. She like, look, bitch. I know plenty of fine motherfuckers in CS the key. <laughs> Enters Mitch. Woo, okay. And he is giving me Kendall. He's giving me that one Kendall that got the hair like it goes up. He kind of like 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 the, like the, the, the Captain Kirk Kendall kind of like that. He's giving me that. He's giving me that. And he is giving Jordana the eyes. Uh, Way Miss C.C. Miller, you about to have to give up another pain to Jordana. Y'all might as well just um do a thing like polygamy, like you know what I mean. But y'all be the first ones to do it. Y'all be some females that sit together and like, look, if you date JD, you're dating me. If you date CC, you're dating JD. You know what I mean? Do it like that. Why not? I don't give a fuck what this bitch is about to say. I'm telling you right now, this hoe is hating. So the very next thing that's going to come out of her mouth is going to be a fucking hating ass statement. Just watch because she was very attracted to that man, to Mitch. Okay. Very attracted. Have you seen how? You seen how C.C. Miller did it? Like, mm, mm, mm. Girl, C.C. Miller said, I rose with the Ken dolls. What? Wait a minute. And look at this hate that. Look, look. Girl, we is about to get you. We about to get you, boo. Wait a minute. I got you. I got something for you. So the only thing the bitch could say was, does she not know Brandon's coming or whatever? Like, girl, that's not her fucking husband. So what are you talking about? But you see how it still had to be negative? It couldn't even be like, oh, wow. <clears throat> look at her. And look at all the shit I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Y'all is some hating ass hoes. So y'all have to, you have to do shit like go behind all the females and see us to key girl. Bye. Check this shit out. <clears throat> y'all better watch out for Juliet, okay? Because the queen... The queen is now the real queen, okay? She is like officially the motherfucking queen of CS the key, bitch. She is not playing. Watch this shit. This is off the chain. I can't motherfucking believe it. Come on, MTV. Chill. Chill for this part. We just have like kind of like this cycle of like. Uh -huh, uh -huh, awesome. Uh -huh. 
and look at her, skip her. Woo! You, you was really not planning about getting back into your role as skipper because you right at the queen's side where you supposed to be. You right there again. I, I see you, but see, you see, you see like at that last shot, Amanda Pan was on the other side. So, mm, 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 chill. Looking good though. You give me skipper today. And queen, queen, she's like, she's overseeing the man and he is no longer the man. He's no longer the king. Um. Queen is giving me Vanderbilt, honey. She's giving me that she's about to take on the motherfucking world. She about to take the world by storm. Watch out for Juliet Porter. I feel like I feel like the shit with Alex. When Alex done her like that, she, you know, so she went and and subconsciously got her revenge on Sam. You know, she got the revenge from what Alex did via Sam. Like Sam was a goddamn uh, rebound relationship, same like. And then she got that and she sucked this energy, sucked them off, but not too dry. And she got that shit, you know what I'm saying? And she's strong and strength. And she got to sit up a little straight right here. You, me, and you, me and you both do that little slouch shit. Okay. Gotta stir. That's because we're smart. We're not, you know, airheads always like sit up straight because they don't have a lot to remember. <laughs> so you don't gotta take that, you know, man, it ain't no bad thing, girl. But yeah, Queen OMG, Queen bitch in the building. It's like, wait, man. Now, this is some crazy bullshit. Now, listen to this. I mean, because you're literally on a, really, a reality show, wait, man. I just don't, I just like, I don't need to be a person. I get that. <laughs> and you get that? Wait, so what's crazy is she said she don't want to be everybody's business and they on TV. And then here go made face profits. I get that. <laughs> okay all right y'all now see i ain't even know that shit the joke was on me and cc miller ain't this about a bitch so she thinking that she about to roll through with the fresh new baddie boy ken doll but he's already been ran around the world see that's the key beach so he's a rag doll this is a merce this is a merce i can't even believe it jordana already had him that's why they was looking at each other like that. Ugh, girl. And you smiling like, ugh, another night's under my belt. Girl, I don't give a shit about how many slut walks Amber freaking Rose makes. That shit is not cool. You got a cool to cat. Comes, comes in. How you gonna make sure you get it all the way the fuck out? Girl, and there's different ones. Bah. It's not nothing to be bragging about. Uh, Girl, because that's what that cool cat do, and they head is trash, bitch. So check it out. And that's what you get. You shouldn't have hooked up with him. He already, why would he call you, girl? Why? For what? He got what he wanted. And you must have performed. You wasn't no five star bitch. You must have not been no five, no four, no three. Because he ain't call you after 3 a.m. Girl, this is a merch, y'all. And look at camera face. <laughs> look at here. <camera>. Oh. <laughs> You took another hard fall. <laughs> Look at it. Ooh. <laughs> Look at Kelsey. Ooh. <laughs> Tough one. <laughs> Kelsey looking like that pussy is trash. <laughs> See that? Karen said, girl, why don't you use your mouth? Uh. <laughs> All right, let me stop playing with this whole bag. <laughs> this is a mess. This is a mess. So she hooked up with CC Miller, new Ken Ragdoll. He ain't even call her ass the next day. Meanwhile, CC Miller always doing better. Girl, everybody is always choosing the other girls over you. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> this is terrible, y'all. She done ran into a whole wall because she, she done ran into the Hold'em. She done ran into the wall of Hold'em now. It's too much. It's too much. So now she's sitting at the party. Camilla brings a new guy. She don't know that he's a hoe and he had her. But you sitting up there branding about to show up. You the head brand. <laughs> Sam standing over there in the corner. You had him first. This is girl. You have hit the wall of Hold'em. Wait a minute. 
Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at how she looks at him, y'all. Look. And look at how he look at her. Like, this is... <laughs> Did you see that? My support, my love. Wait a minute. He made a whole song. <clears throat> he made a whole song about Madison, though. He loved Madison. Look at how he looking at her. He like, girl, stop playing with me. You know I love you. You know I don't give a shit. I will come in your life, and we will raise that baby with a little cue together. Okay, all we needed to do to save our children by some other people. Girl, I'm back, girl. You know, I'll be here for you anytime you need me. We need me right now. I'm, we gonna, let's fly out here. Okay, that's what he want to say. Wait a minute. For what, girl? That's so pathetic. And Mitch is definitely not going to call you again. He definitely, that's why he played games with y'all. And he looked like the guy from American Psycho, too. Why you bullshitting? Um, yeah, girl, Mitch is not going to call you back. Uh, you sitting up there talking about, you worrying about is Brandon going to speak to you at at, at 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 Madison's baby shower? It's not about it's not about that. It's not about that, girl. Then then this girl gonna say she she y'all getting on my motherfucking nerves. Then she gonna say I'll call him out for what, bitch? He ain't your man. He ain't your baby father. Wait a minute. This about another baby. So this girl is insane. She Camilla, girl, you about to lose that other crown I gave you over there on that forum. Girl, hey, matter of fact, I gotta go. I ain't been over there in a long time. I don't like that one. Fuck them. I don't like that social media. I really don't. First of all, I'm not a social media type of person. I'm a motherfucking one. That's just not me. Um, but we all do. We got it in. Um, move forward, chill. And you are doing everything that you're not supposed to supposed to fucking be doing. Like you is worrying too hard over this boy. Look at her. She is really stressed this this is stressful for her whether or not a man that is not giving her any pain is going to say hello or not girl it's over what's wrong with you then you're gonna tell him what you're gonna do chastise him for not being a good ex-boyfriend i can't he didn't do shit to you girl that you didn't want done to you you call brandon instead of calling the motherfucking hvac people down at the round them corners down at the hotel hole so don't nobody want to hear that. Brandon came and he cooled you off like the fuck you asked him to do. Okay? Girl, he did not have to admit to the world whether or not he slung dick up in you. He could do, he didn't, he, he already got what he wanted. You can't tell him um, whether or not to be honest about it. Girl, you didn't own the pain and you don't own the man that, that, be, that it, the pain belonged to. You sound crazy. And you accepted the motherfucking hug. That's your problem. You keep on accepting him every time he reach out and touch your dumb ass. And then you talking about some, he needs to give you an apology for what he did. He didn't do shit. He denied sleeping. He ain't even denied. He was so embarrassed by other people knowing he got the fuck up and left the stage. If anything, he deserves, MTV deserves a goddamn apology in all of us. I'm tired of these dumb hoes. <laughs> Wait a minute. He don't owe you shit. You know what he owe you? A good goddamn clean bill of health when he got done with you. That's what the fuck he owe you. That's the best you can get if you out there hoeing around like that. If he left you without a venereal disease, then bitch, he don't owe you nothing. <clears throat> Move on and hope that the next one that you let slide in do the same thing when it slide out and don't leave you with some slivering slinky disease. Whatever they got going on. They got shit that moves in amoebas. It's under the microscopic. You see it. This is the fucking annoying. Why are you crying, Juliet? Like, why did you just start crying all of a sudden? Like, girl, it's like it's everything is so set up and premeditated at this point. Like, I, I'm I, I'm almost done. I'm done. I'm done. Mm, 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 mm. I love that you the queen. And I'm always love you, queen. But I got to call you out of your bullshit because I'm a queen of my motherfucking self. And that's what I do. And that's what queens, queens, queens adjust other motherfucking queens crown. Now, you can also be the throne in this motherfucker in the consumer brain because this is my motherfucking kingdom over here. Now, I'm thinking about decrowning your motherfucking ass because <clears throat> I don't like this bullshit you pulling with Sam. Look at these fake ass tears that you're about to um, conjure up from um, beneath them eyes. Girl, uh, you probably put on some cry real face lashes today. Like, I don't even understand. Wait a minute, check this bullshit out. It was like, you don't listen to what I say. Really? 
So I need to know what this is about. Something has gone on in that home that we just don't know. Because this is either real strong, good acting. This eye gives me that she's a little angry at him. They both give me angry. Yeah, yo. So Sam is completely headed with her. And I can completely see why. Like I said, uh, I'm just not really, I'm not really understanding why she doing him like this. It's like, it's just so strange. I I I really, 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 really want to know about the time frame because other than that, it just seemed like he just she just doing him dirty. She really is. She did not give him no good excuse. She told him every time I talk, you don't listen. But every time she talk, I, I see Sam listening and getting angry about everything he's hearing. So I, I just don't get it, chill. And then she gonna say, yeah, I miss them. Talk about the dogs, not that she miss Sam. Like, girl, it's like she cannot stand him now all of a sudden. And I, this is wild, right, man? It's like they really, really beefing for real. But we just don't know why. You know what I mean? It was very mm. interesting. He asked Madison, um, is she mentally good? That's how, you know, that 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 tells that that man really cares about you. I didn't even hear one person ask you that not one time so far. And then look at her. She she immediately looks down. She's talking and she's smiling through it, but yeah, I don't think she's completely. But we'll, you know, I I was trying not to comment, but you know, I had to. It's Mady face. Hey, man. Tyler, Tyler, same shadow self. <laughs> so we said he doesn't align with my energy. <laughs> so he just goes. Uh, he it, look at his face. Look, he said. So look, Sam said. So you just clear him out, huh? She, she said it's true. Wait Sam is minute. absolutely right. You need to ditch this bitch. He said every time I, every time you do something, it's like oh, that's so great. And every time I do, something, I'm like a hatchet murderer or something. Look at her face. It looks like she's looking at us. <laughs> we all be in the same fucking country. Oh shit, yo. Wait a minute. I love this. this is funny as a motherfucker. I mean, you know, I'm gonna try to stay loyal and all girl. I just, uh, girl, look at this shit. She's looking like, uh, it's about fucking time. He literally just said, I just don't see no future. And he was like, uh, you finally said, we finally on the same page. Like this girl has been breaking up with him and staying with him at the same time. And she's expecting him to understand. Like, this is just crazy. But um, I think that's all the time we got, y'all. They about to say some more bullshit. It's like, no, they actually about to wrap it up with their little long dramatic song. You know how they do. So um, I'm gonna be back with tonight's episode because it is it is actually Thursday, March the 31st. Um, um, so the new episode has aired. You know I'm late. I got a bunch of shit to do. Excuse me, don't mind me. Um, just rock with me, y'all. Yes. So yeah, y'all. Um, I'll be back. Mm-hmm. Mm, bye bye.